We go way back to my wire hair Manny's wonder years and hunt with an ancient breed, as well as my hardworking crew who becomes the subject of a magazine photo shoot. Early release pheasants and chuckers are the quarry at Nebraska's Pheasant Bonanza Lodge near Tekema. I'm Scott Linden, and today is the National Shooting Sports Foundation presents Wing Shooting USA. High on the shelf, I found some unused footage that tells the story of youth, experience, and hard work. Put on your puppy goggles, pull out your German dictionary, and get ready for some behind-the-scenes shots I'm sure you'll enjoy. I first visited Pheasant Bonanza to see the birthplace of a young shorthair that rocked my world. On his first day in Montana, Duke morphed from wallflower to bird dog, taking us to school on just how much a dog can grow in a day. We came east to see if his pedigree had more stars in it, hunt the ground he hunted, and made him a star. Maybe some of it will rub off on 18-month-old Manny. Today, Pheasant Bonanza manager Trent Lightlighter gets the rare chance to actually hunt instead of guide. We're going to go straight north. Hunt him up. A former college athlete, Watch he applies him. discipline Dirty and dog. dedication to dog training and his incredible shooting, as you'll soon see. That's point. We'll take it. Nancy Annisfield is writing and photographing a magazine story on my crew, Tad Newberry and Lynn Berlin. That's a point. An insightful hunter and dog trainer herself, she'll showcase my crew's efforts to tell the story of dogs, birds, and hunters. Nice. Over the top again. <laughs> you got him. That's all you. Get fetch. 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 Manny. Hey. Have to talk to the trainer. That would be me. Fetch. He got force broken that spring. Fetch. Fetch. That's good enough. Good boy. Good dog. That's a heck of a start to the day. What do you say? Our what guide is today is Troy Wakefield. Thanks for putting up with Manny, Good Troy. Good job. Good job, Manny. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That's the way to start. I, I, we're already feeling hey, good. Hey, you're 100%. <laughs> I didn't even pull the trigger. Point. Good boy. You see how his tail what do we have? goes like this, and then it, he Sucker? says, I'm pretty sure. Boom. Yeah, there is chucker. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. This way. Oh man, good shooting, Tread. Fred! That was fun. You negotiated the camera people well, too. <laughs> Come on, Manny, <laughs> fetch! Here, see how he. Here. Oh, here. Good boy. Here, good boy. And oh, we should have one more one? down bird over here. Unless he I'll dropped it on the way over. Oh, he did pick it up. Cool. Manny, Manny, fetch. Dead bird, fetch. He has it, yeah. Good boy. This is how I don't spoil my dog. <laughs> Good boy, Manny. You are the man. <sighs> he did well. He's a good boy. He did very well. Good dog. Hunt him up. You can't be mad about that. No. You know, is it just because it's morning, the birds are not running yet? Yes. Yeah. No wind and it's and frost. Thank, thank you for there's, letting him get some of that. There's a frost. Oh, he's getting birdie. He's, he's birdie. He's on. That's right point. There. Good boy. I scared him into your uh, into my side lane, plane. Trent. Yeah. Fetch! Manny. Manny. Here. Manny. Here. Good boy, Manny. Oh, that's a good boy. I'm trying to practice what I preach. And what's that? Don't take it away immediately. <laughs> Give him a chance to savor it. You know? For an ugly dog, you're pretty. <laughs> gotcha. um, you know, Trent, Troy, yep. he's had plenty. Okay. Let's go put your dog okay. in. Yeah. Let's go. If we get one on the way back, 
It's a yeah, bonus. We'll turn on this side on the way back then. All right. Anyway. Let's not tempt fate. Time for the pup to go back in the crate. A rare breed hits the field next on Wing Shooting USA. You got to start with good breeding before you get a good Scott breed. Linden's Wing Shooting USA is brought to you by Cabela's Dog Gear. It's in your nature. Happy Jack's DuraSpot, the latest technology in flea and tick control. My book, What the Dogs Taught Me, available everywhere books are sold. And Fioki, quality ammunition since 1876. Welcome back, hope you're enjoying the show. We're at Ruggs Ranch, the new sporting clays complex here, and we'll be trying our luck in a minute at the Flying Frenzy. Pete is in the background there to pull for me. I'll be trying at least a couple shots, see if this SKB 28 gauge delivers as promised. You could win this one, among other things, at wingshootingusa.org. That's where we enter the Take Your Friend Hunting sweepstakes. Number one prize, a trip with us to Sportsman's Paradise in Logan, Utah. You win the 28 gauge, you get a 20 gauge to give to one of your friends as well. Maybe a kid, maybe a hunting buddy. You decide at wingshootingusa.org. Now, let's see if I can hit anything. You ready, Pete? Wish me luck. Pull! Ah! Time for the Upland Checklist, brought to you by Cabela's, your source for dog gear. Cold, windy weather challenged humans and dogs. Here's how we coped. Fatty Snacks kept dogs firing on all eight cylinders. I like a product called Crunch Pemmican. Happy Jack DD33 spray kept fleas at bay. Cabela's Mindle perfect boots handle rough terrain and protect my feet from encounters with rocks with real leather throughout. And the perfect mixed bag load is Fioki Golden Pheasant in seven and a half. Let's get back to Pheasant Bonanza. Here come the pros. Troy Wakefield's string carrying on the legacy of high performing short hairs at Pheasant Bonanza. That's Millie. And hold on, this is Diana, a small Munsterlander pointer. The breed was just admitted to the AKC sporting group. And here comes Gracie, another short hair. They're just getting all the creek, so we'll be in this path. Yeah, just try. <laughs> yeah, they'll all point. All right. Diana's birdie. Oh, righty. Oh, it's Jim. The shot that connected came from Jim Murray, all around nice guy and one of the owners at Pheasant Bonanza. He snuck over and joined us mid-hunt while I wasn't That's looking. Good, good to meet you. Right here. Right here. Come here, girl. Good girl. Come here. Drop. Diana. Diana. Here. Come here. Come here. Small Munsterlanders are known for their water love, but usually it's evidence during duck retrieves. Here. Short hair over here. Ah, uh, not really pointing, she's creeping. Creeping in there. Oh, she's locked on. Oh, the other one is, all righty. We got it back now too. You ready? Easy. Let's see, could that one have gotten up any closer? We'll get it on the way. We'll get it with the pigot. Yeah, that looks She's like a point. On. Ready here? Oh, look at that, all three. Now that, that is canine triangulation. I'll go in. Whoa, right there. Whoa. Good shot, Scott. Finally. That's in the water, I believe. Gracie's on it, I think. That, right there is where, where it went, bounced off the bushes. 
I think I'm finding my rhythm. Good. <laughs> here. Drop. Come here. Here. All right, let's go back up in the southern path here. We're going to hunt this on the All way right, back. we have to. Oh, let's <laughs> right here, Trent. Whoa. Whoa. Good shot, Trent. Some here. call them meat dogs because here. they're off with the shot. Here. They Drop. may not win a field trial, but at a lodge, many times it's about not losing shot birds. Back up here, Scott. On the way. And maintaining a lively pace. She's creeping right through here. Jim, walk in on this. <laughs> so cool. Oh, you. Yep. I'm walking in. Okie dokie. Nice shot, Jim. That's how it's done. Here. Whoa, we got a point right here, Jim. Here, <laughs> Come. Come. Alrighty. Good girl. Here. Here. Drop. Right up here. Good girl, oh, Millie. Millie. Hold on, Jim. Good shooting. Here. 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 That's what it's about. I could have got that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> here. Drop. Hey, uh, would anybody like a water or a candy bar or anything? I fell in love with pheasant bonanza through its dogs. Then I visited and learned why they turn out such great dogs. Great hunting habitat. The setting is beautiful, staff accommodating, and fun to be with. The dogs? Stellar, of course. Okay, then let's regroup and see what those versatile dogs can do in the next field. Coming up on Wing Shooting USA. Less than a hundred years ago, this dog in its smaller version came from the same litter. The littler ones hunted woodcock. Those larger dogs flushed bigger game, including grouse. Tweet the breed name at Wing Shooting USA and you might win a box of Happy Jack dog care products. I wonder if she just heard somebody say the W word. I think she did. Yeah. Looks like we got some action going here. This could be pretty. Watch this stalk. Remember, a versatile dog's primary goal is to produce birds for the gun. However, it's done best in each situation. Running birds require a different approach than those sitting tight. Or not. So, we're still working. Right there. <laughs> it won't win a field trial, but there's a bird on the ground. Here. And you got to be quicker on here. <laughs> here. Here. Drop. Good girl. We're pushing something to the end. And bye. And it looks like it ran out already. It wins. Oh, hey, wait a minute, right here. Okay. There we go. <laughs> and I was ready to give up on that corner. They got it. Oh, the Munsterlander. Originally here. used for falconry, the small Munsterlander wow. breed is believed Good. to be over 500 years old. And he was full of them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dakota's birdie in the timbers there. Diana is. Right. No, or not. she's out. Got him. Come on, Billy. Come on. Here. 
Oh, good girl. Here. Come on. Come on. Fetch. Drop. You got a point right here. I got a point. Yeah. Ready? Millie, here. Here. Good girl. Here. Here. Drop. That was pretty cool. Good girl. Good girl. Drop. What will the dogs do for an encore? Find out next on Wing Shooting USA. I got a point. Point right over there. Scott Linden's Wing Shooting USA is brought to you by the National Shooting Sports Foundation. Win a hunt with us at wingshootingusa.org. Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism. With a long season, there's no place like Kansas for hunting. Yeti, built for the wild. And SKB, official shotguns of Wing Shooting USA. With Sporting Clays Complex here at Ruggs Ranch, that's Shotgun Alley. Looks like my kind of targets, low and slow. Tasmanian Teal, I'll stay away from that one. You know that's the one that goes straight up and pauses just long enough for you to miss. If you'd like to join us on a trip, we'll be doing some bird hunting at Sportsman's Paradise in the Take Your Friend Hunting Sweepstakes. Enter to win at wingshootingusa.org. And remember, there's another prize package. It's those two SKB shotguns, the 28 gauge side by side for you and a 20 gauge over and under for one of your friends. I hope they'll take you hunting someday. While you're ending to win, one of the things you can do is ask me a question about bird hunting and bird dogs. Brent Packer asks about feeding his two large chocolate Labrador retrievers. He says he's feeding about four pounds to the pair of them every day, two pounds per dog per day, which may be a little bit much, Brent. You say you're using a self-feeder. I'd probably cut back on that and feed twice a day, except during hunting season, and then make sure that you're monitoring that dog's condition. The simplest thing to do is stand over your dog and look down along their back. If you can see a defined waist, that dog is in good shape. If there's no waist, if it's a hot dog shape, a tube, your dog's overweight. Talk to your veterinarian and start portioning back the food. Take good direction from your vet, good luck, and give your dog a little bit more of a workout. Because remember, if your dog's fat, you need more exercise. Mary Ballerin stresses key ingredients for her whole game bird cooking. What? Marinate and tenderize with orange juice, stuff and keep moist with onions, then add wine to the sauce. Here. The fruits of the earth take this wild game meal from field to feast. Get the recipe at Facebook. That's about as camouflaged as you can get. Now we know where it is. Beauty. Gotta be in here somewhere. Don't think. See if you can find it. Woo. Jim saved us. <laughs> Drop. Yeah. You're fine. Whoa! Scott, you wanna? I'll walk in. Yeah. You ready? I'm Everybody ready. Everybody set? Oh! <laughs> I knew you were in trouble there. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, I almost tripped over them on the way in. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, I'd have them circle one more time. Okay.
Rarely just see one. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Bang. Good shot, Trent. Bet. Really here? You want that cool? Here. Yes. Here. Here. That's the here. shot we look for. Here. Here. Drop. Scott, do you see why we like having three dogs? Yeah, you, nothing escapes three good <laughs> noses. Absolutely. It sure helps. Yeah. We're going to be coming up on a pretty cool beaver dam over here. And they're just getting it started. Really? Oh my goodness. Beavers in Nebraska. The beaver may be an industrious, hard working critter, but he's got nothing on our dogs today. From Manny's youthful enthusiasm to a first chance to hunt with a small Munsterlander to the consummate professionalism of the short hairs. And that's not counting Nancy Annisfield's fantastic portrayal of the talents of my crew, Ted Newbury and Lynn Berlin, and the resulting story. Dog or person, success doesn't simply arrive on your doorstep. Training dogs, learning your way around a camera, shooting well, each requires patience and persistence. That's a wrap. Margaret Mead said she learned the value of hard work by working hard. Today, you saw an example of what can happen when one puts in the time and effort in front of the camera and behind it. Let's talk about it at my blog and Facebook page. I'm Scott Linden. Thanks for watching. Boy, am I glad Trent is a good shot. Oh!